Yukon Supreme Court has dismissed former MLA Pauline Frost election challenge. Frost lost the riding of the Vontut Gwich'in to NDP candidate Annie Blake during this year's territorial election on April 12th. Frost and Blake, who were the only two candidates for the small northernmost riding, tied with 78 votes each. A draw was held to determine the winner and Blake's name was drawn. On April 22nd, Frost launched a petition alleging a person who voted NDP was incarcerated at the White Horse Correction Center. It argued his special ballot vote was invalid because he did not reside in the riding. It also asserted elections Yukon officials did not follow the required processes to reject the inmates' vote as invalid for lack of authorized identification. In a written decision yesterday, Chief Justice Susan Duncan found the voter's status as a Vuntad Gwich'in citizen, as well as his desire to return to Old Crow and live there, was proof he considers the area home, and his vote is valid. She also found elections officials followed the appropriate guidelines by accepting his inter-district special ballot based on his identification. Sarah Connors, APTN National News, Whitehorse.